Geologists have downplayed the current eruption risk of a giant volcano that once spewed more than 100 cubic kilometers of material, after New Zealand authorities recorded increased activity. Geological agency GeoNet has increased the Taupo volcano alert level from 0 to 1. This year, 700 tiny earthquakes have occurred in the volcano, which lies under Lake Taupo, an increase from the previous two years when there were less than 100 earthquakes, according to GeoNet. It's been very quiet for the last little while but now they're just starting to measure a little bit of activity going on down there, University of NSW Geology professor Martin Van Crane Dunk said. From zero, nothing's happening, to one, they've just started to register that there's a little bit of activity going on in the depths below Lake Taupo. It points to some geological activity down there. It's a swarm of small earthquakes, very small earthquakes, and what that generally means is, the magma, liquid rock, is just starting to move a little bit. It just indicates instead of being incredibly quiet for the last little while, there's just a little bit of motion coming on. The volcanic alert system has six escalating levels of unrest, but GeoNet notes eruptions may occur at any level, and activity may not progress through levels in sequence and can change rapidly. The Taupo volcano spewed more than 100 cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere when it last erupted about 200 BC, devastating a large area of New Zealand's central North Island in a period before human habitation. GeoNet says the eruption was the largest on the planet in the past 5,000 years. The agency added this is the first time it has raised the Taupo volcano alert level to 1, but this was not the first time there had been unrest and the chance of an eruption remains very low. The earthquakes and deformation could continue for the coming weeks or months, GeoNet said. New Zealand straddles the boundary between the Pacific and Australian tectonic plates and experiences significant volcanism and earthquakes. In 2019, White Island, also known as Wakari, suddenly erupted, spewing steam and ash and killing 22 people and seriously injuring 25 others, mostly tourists. Van Krindonk said the recordings at Taupo do not suggest an imminent risk of eruption. It's very common in these systems that there will be some activity, he said. But for it to reach any kind of concern of eruption, it would have to escalate dramatically. Australia safe those across the Tasman Sea can also rest easy, with Geoscience Australia telling 7 News. Com.au There is no heightened risk to Australia from earthquakes linked to Taupo. And Van Crane Donk agrees, saying the only risk to Australia of earthquakes is based on the movement of tectonic plates. This is just a very localized system, so it's not at all tied to Australia, he said. They actually sit on different tectonic plates. The movement of magma is very different to the movement of the tectonic plates. The tectonic earthquakes that we're concerned about are when the plates are moving next to each other. With Reuters.